Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Hi, it's me, the Vertical Splash 17. Well, finally, the trailer for The Amazing Spider-Man is out. You now, if you're wondering what I think about it, I gotta just say. It was okay. It's okay. That's all I can say. It's okay. Now, I'm gonna go into my nitpicking now. Now, I know you've all seen my other video about this topic. Now, to be totally honest, I'm really looking forward to making a new Spider-Man movie. I was really kind of hoping for them to make Spider-Man 4, but you know, except it got shit-canned. And due, due for the bad reception from Spider-Man 3, I guess they felt like they had to reboot the movie somehow so they can get the fans to, you know, be a little satisfied because through all the reviews I heard about Spider-Man 3, they, other people really hated the other two Spider-Man movies. Really. Other people hated Spider-Man 2. And Spider-Man 2 is one of my favorite movies. God, how can people hate that? Okay, yeah, there were some things that were bad in Spider-Man 2, like the scene where Spider-Man is unmasked and he's on the damn train and the whole entire people seeing his face, seeing him unmasked. Yes, I can understand that. Spider-Man 1, I did like Spider-Man 1. I thought it was true to the story and besides, because of this I wouldn't have gotten this shirt. And I found Spider-Man 1 very entertaining. Now, since this one's now going to be based on the origins of Spider-Man, now, this is one thing I'm a little bit concerned about. It being too much like Batman Begins. Now, I, I did like Batman Begins, but making Spider-Man somewhat like Batman Begins. Now, this one's actually going, going in deep in, on what happened to his parents. Now, that's something I find a little interesting because in Spider-Man 1 and 2 and 3, we never got to know what happened to his parents. All we know in the other two, other three Spider-Man movies is that, well, he was living with his aunt and uncle. That's it. Nothing about his parents. So, in the trailer, they show his, pa they show his parents basically leaving him. Basically, they say... There's something that we got to do, and we have to leave you with your aunt and uncle. And they, and Peter, played by Andrew Garfield from the Social Network, which I just <laughs> kind of like his character. Um, he finds like a bag or a suitcase that was for that was from his father, and you know he finds like I don't know something in that suitcase. And we see him trying to make his own Spider-Man suit. Now, here's some good things about it. Now, they have got the director who did 500 Days of Summer, which I actually heard was a good movie. And, you know, he has done some really good films. And we have Andrew Garfield from The Social Network, obviously. And we have Emma Stone from Easy A and... If you have seen the uh, magazine of her in a, in a, um, well, if you have seen the magazine, you might know what I'm talking about, in a, in her panties or something like that, or in a bikini, sorry, I just couldn't say the word, but, you know, still. But, you know, Emma Stone, yes, she, she is damn sure hot, even harder than Chris. Even harder than Mary Jane, but you know, they're bringing in, um, this, they're bringing in, um, the lizard, which they, they only show him as Dr. Carners in the movie. And basically, this movie has something good going on, but the design of Spider-Man, I'm like, Looking at him, he looks weird. 
I mean, was there a problem on making him look like this? See my shirt? Was there a problem making him look like this? Because I've seen the way he looks. And he looks really, really weird. I mean, weird as shit. I mean, his boots are look like sneakers. The tip of his gloves are blue and red all over. And the design of the suit looks kind of similar to the original Spider-Man suit. But was it hard to make him look like this? Really? Now, many people say he looks like shit. And looking at the trailer, the trailer looks really awesome. Despite the fact that it is sort of a knockoff of Mara's Edge. Yeah. I'm really hoping for this Spider-Man movie to be good. Now, if you want to see my review for Spider-Man 3, click where it says Vertical Spy 17 on, I don't know, on the, where it says Vertical Spy 17 on this video. And you'll be able to see my review for Spider-Man 3. But seriously, I'm really hoping for this new Spider-Man movie to be good. Now it has a good director, good actors. It, had, it looks like it sort of has good, good effects and a good story. But let's just hope that it's better than Spider-Man 3. Let's just really hope that. That's all I can talk about. Now, let's hope for next year to be a good year because we got The Avengers, The Dark Knight Rises, Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man. We got all these good movies coming out. All these really good movies that we're hoping to be good. And, you know, let's just really hope that. So, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Vertical Spy, signing out.